Okay guys, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. Sa video na ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano uh, gumawa ng ganitong uh, online uh, shopping store using Shopify. So, yan yung website natin. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng um, website logo. Paano gumawa ng navigation label dito sa menu label natin sa taas and these labels are linked to our product pages or product categories let's say sleepwear so ito yung products natin sa sleepwear so meron lang tayong limang products dito you can upload many products as you want okay so go back to home uh, tuturo ko rin sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng um, full page image dito sa header natin and overlay text and kung paano gumawa ng shop button dito na pag nilik nila ito they can go to a certain product categories okay back to home page so ituturo ko rin sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng collection dito sa ating home page so makita nyo dito sa home page meron tayong anim na products na naka-display. So, your customer can click any products and this will go to uh, the product page. Okay? And they can choose what variants they want, what size, okay? Add to cart. Okay, they can view their cart. Okay? They can check out And I will I will show you how to uh, customize your checkout page with this header image and uh, with our logo displayed on the checkout page. And also I will show you how to set up a free shipping on your Shopify store. Okay, I will show you how to create a credit card payment and a PayPal payment. Okay, so we go back to our store. Okay, dito naman sa baba, we have a bigger uh, we have a bigger section of our product page. So we have our uh, image here and our text on the left hand of the section. So dito meron tayong tab or meron tayong shop button where they can click this one and they can go to a specific page or categories on your website. Okay, so we go back to the, our homepage. And dito rin, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng full width image slider dito sa ating uh, bottom of the page. So, ayan. Okay, this is an image slider. And ituturo ko rin sa inyo kung paano maglagay ng uh, link button dito sa baba. So, when your customer click on, on this shop now, they will go to the other page or the other link that you set up. Okay? So, back to the home page. Okay, scroll down. So, dito rin, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano uh, i-customize yung ating uh, footer section. So, dito sa footer section, meron tayong tatlong sections. So, first column natin is yung links, like search. They can search for the products. Okay. They can also click, you can also put your About Us page here and Contact Us page, where they can click the About Us page. Okay. And... I will show you how to create a contact us page. This is our contact us page where your customer can contact you using this contact us page. So, dito rin sa baba, maglagay tayo dito ng text and maglagay tayo dito ng section where they, they can enter their email address and subscribe 
to your website. So guys, ito yung gagawin natin ngayon. Kung paano gumawa ng ganitong website. Uh, so guys, sundan nyo lang yung step-by-step uh, -step tutorial na ito. And makakagawa na kayo ng ganitong uh, online store. Okay guys, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. Sa video na ito, uh, gagawa tayo ng online store using Shopify.com. At uh, gagawin natin is mag-register tayo sa Shopify.com at gamitin natin yung 14-day trial period nila. Click mo itong start free trial. So, ito yung email address natin. So, mag-create tayo ng password. And your store name. So, dress like a pro 2401. And create your store. Okay. Itong mga additional information sa to or details na to, pwede mo tong skip or or pwede mo siyang i-fill out. So, let's say fill out natin. So, I'm just playing around. Leave natin 'yan. I'm just getting started. So, leave natin 'yan. So, next Okay, address, let's say Auckland, okay, so 0626, okay, fill out the phone number, and enter my store. Okay, nandito na tayo ngayon sa ating admin uh, dashboard ng Shopify. Mag-install tayo ng ating uh, Shopify theme. So, puna tayo sa online store. And click mo yung theme. So, pili tayo ng mga themes. So, explore free themes. So, hanapin natin yung debut team kasi yun ang parang nagustahan kong team nila. Kasi maganda yung layout. Lalo na yung product page layout nila maganda. So, ito yung debut team. Click mo ito. So, pili ka ng dalawang style dito. Default and light. So, based on experience, maganda yung default nila. Pero siya ng slideshow sa homepage. Single, single featured product. May product filtering sila and customer testimonials. Add to theme library. So, click mo yan. Okay, down. Click arrow down for action and publish. So, publish this theme. Okay. So, activated na yung uh, theme natin. Okay, guys. Na-install na natin yung uh, theme na gagamitin natin dito sa ating Shopify store. Ngayon, ang gawin natin is buksan natin itong website natin sa another tab. Para, ka, para makita natin kung anong itsura ng website natin. So, gawin natin is, just copy this one here. Copy this. And do not include the admin. And open a new tab. Copy and paste it here. Enter. 
Okay, so dito makikita nyo na password restricted yung website natin or yung Shopify store. So ang gawin natin dito is i-disable natin yung password. Okay, so back, close mo ito. Back to our online store. Okay, preference. Scroll down. So either you can do it here, pick a plan here, or select a plan here at the bottom. So kaya pala guys, hindi mawala itong uh, bar dito sa baba. Kasi kailangan natin mag-pick ng uh, Shopify plan. Okay, so gawin natin is, click natin to. So, ito yung mga plans nila. So, meron silang 29 per month, 79 per month, and 299 per month. So, dito tayo muna sa basic plan, which is 29 per month. So, I suggest guys, para sa atin, uh, uh, mag-umpisa pa lang tayo sa ating online store. Gawin muna natin is choose muna natin yung $29 per month na plan nila. So, okay. So, i-click mo yan, choose this plan. So, gawin natin is mag-enter tayo ng ating credit card details. Okay, start plan. Okay guys, nandito na tayo sa ating home page uh, admin dashboard. So makita nyo dito na wala na yung uh, bar dito sa baba. What we can do now here is enable natin yung password. Okay, so click online store, preferences. Okay, online store is password protected. Only visitor with password can access your online store. So disable password, pwede mo itong i-click or scroll down. And untick mo itong enable password. Okay, and save. Okay, we can do now is copy this URL. Ito yung website URL mo. Then open a new tab. Control V and enter. Okay, ito na yung uh, default layout ng debut theme. At ito na yung homepage ng ating Shopify store. So makita nyo dito. Nandito yung um, website name mo o pwede kang gumawa ng logo rito. Ito yung uh, menu bars nila. Search bar and cart button. And dito yung homepage nila, homepage slider. So pwede kang mag-create ng images slider dito. Down is, ito yung featured collection nila. So halimbawa meron kang iba-ibang categories ng iyong uh, online store. And dito sa baba, yung pwede kang maglagay ng uh, best seller product mo dito and yung text and description. And another slide dito sa bottom uh, part of the page is pwede kang maglagay ng image slider dito. Mag-install tayo ng Uberlo app. Uh, ang app na ito is makakatulong sa atin para mag-import ng products from AliExpress website. And makakatulong din ito para mabilis yung fulfillment ng mga orders sa atin ng ating customers. Okay, go to app section. Click mo yan. And dito, click mo tong Uberlo. Add this app. This is a free plan. So, add this app. 
scroll down, install this app. Okay, let's get started. So first step is, ne-connect na natin yung uh, app natin, yung Uberlu app sa ating Shopify store. Next step is, add your first product. So hindi pa natin ito magagawa kasi wala pa tayong uh, Uberlu uh, Chrome extension. So gagawin natin is, install natin yung extension ng Uberlu sa ating Chrome browser. So install in extension. Okay, add to Chrome extension or add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay guys, so makita mo dito sa taas, dito sa ating uh, top right uh, side corner, makita mo dito, nandito na yung overlow uh, uh, maliit na icon. Install na yung overlow sa ating Chrome browser. So, i-refresh natin to. So, nakita nyo, nag-green na siya. Okay. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is alisin natin tong uh, text dito and palitan natin ng ating uh, website logo. So, gagawa tayo ng logo using canva.com. So, open a new tab. Use canva.com. Okay, nakalagin ako sa canva.com. And create a design. Click logo. So, pipili tayo ng logo na gusto natin. So, ito. So, gawin natin dito. Edit natin yung text. So, gawin natin ganyan. So, alisin natin to. So, ayusin natin yung text size. Uh, 48. Let's see this one here. Okay. And yung background niya, gawin natin medyo palitan natin ng kulay. Say this one. Okay. So what we can do here is um, download natin yung file. So, gawin natin siyang transparent background para kahit ano yung background ng ating website, magiging transparent lang siya. So, transparent background siya. Ibig sabihin, yung background na ito should be transparent. So, download. Okay, our logo is now downloading. Okay, kaya lang kung makikita nyo dito sa ating logo uh, layout, malaki yung uh, background niya. Gagawin natin, i-crop natin siya. So, meron akong ginagamit na website para mag-crop and mag-edit ng uh, mga images. It, it is called bfunky.com. Okay, go to create, photo editor. Start new. Click open. Click computer. Click mo yung logo. Enter. And ikakrap natin to. So kung makita nyo guys, ito yung background niya, transparent yan. So ikrap natin siya para makuha lang yung logo natin. Okay. So this one. Okay. Click mo yan. Check to apply. Okay, yan yung logo natin. Then what we can do is save computer.
palitan natin ng file name, make it logo1 and jpeg file or png file. Save. Okay, upload na natin yung logo natin. So, go to online store. And customize. Go to header section. Makita mo dito logo image. Select image. Upload an image. So, ito yung file natin. So, open. Okay, ito na yung logo. So, let's uh, click select. So, pwede mong i-edit ang image niya. So, ito, custom logo with. So, pwede mo siyang dagdagan. So, let's say 160. Okay, the rest is okay. And click save. And click this Shopify icon. Okay, we're back to our home page. So, what we can do now is Copy this URL and click a new tab and control V to paste the URL and enter. Okay, guys, ito na yung logo natin, dress like a pro. Okay, the next step is we will create our own product categories or product collections. So we click product, click collections, and we will create our own product collection. So create collection button. Okay, so let's say we will create pants. Scroll down. Click manual and save. Okay. Back. So, ito na yung pants collection natin. We'll create another collection like for our jeans collections. So, type jeans. Click the manual collection type and save. Okay. Click collections. So, ito na yung pants and jeans collections natin. So, next is we will create another collection like for our shorts. Click manual and save. Okay, last collection na gagawin natin is sleepwear. So, create collection. Type sleepwear. And um, click manual and save. We will go to our online store. Okay, click navigation. Click the main menu. Okay guys, nandito yung home page and catalog. So nabahita mo siya, siya yung default uh, menu natin. So, alitin natin itong catalog. Papalitan natin yan. So, we can delete this by clicking this trash button. Remove. 
okay we will add another menu so click this plus button So we'll create like a uh, pants and search for the link. So magli-link siya doon sa collections na ginawa natin kanina. So ito yung pants collections. Click mo yan and add. Okay. Another category. So jeans. Go to your collections. And click jeans and add. Okay. Add another menu item for our shorts collection. So name this at shorts and link it to our collection page. Scroll down for shorts and add. Okay, last one for our sleepwear. So, click this plus button and call it sleepwear. And link this to our collection page. Scroll down and click sleepwear. Add. Okay. Now we can save these collections of our menu items. So save this. Okay, we go to another tab. We go to the next tab and we will re refresh the page. Okay guys, nandito na yung uh, product collections natin or yung pro ating mga product categories. We have pants categories, jeans category, shorts, and slipwear category. Okay, bago tayo mag-import ng products from AliExpress uh, into our Shopify store, gawin natin is, um, iset up muna natin yung overlay para sa ating uh, global pricing rules. Ang gawin natin is, back to our admin page. So, click the apps. Click mo yung overlay. Okay, punta tayo sa settings. And we click global pricing rules. So, ito yung magiging uh, pricing rules natin or yung pricing natin sa lahat ng products na import natin sa ating Shopify store. So, ito yung product cost ng item sa AliExpress. So, let's say ang benta natin is i-multiply natin siya sa 2 para sa yung maging product price natin. So, gawin natin times to multiplier. Ito yung uh, pricing rules para sa mag-offer tayo ng sale sa ating mga products. So, ito yung maging compared price natin. So, kung kanina, let's say yung product cost natin sa AliExpress is $10.00. I-multiply natin siya ng 2, magiging $20 siya. Ang benta natin sa ating store is $20. So, compared price natin siya sa $30. So, i-multiply natin siya sa 3. Siya yung magiging compared price natin. So, bibenta natin siya ng $20 sa ating store. Pero yung original price niya is $30. But, Ang, ben, ang kuha lang natin sa AliExpress is $10. So, yan yung, yan yung magiging price, pricing rules natin. And we, okay, we can set cents like 95 cents and 95 cents para sa ating com, uh, compared price. So, i-save natin to. Okay, save successfully and we can close this. Okay, naset na natin yung pricing rules sa ating Uberlo app. Gawin natin ngayon is pwede na tayo mag-import ng products from AliExpress into our Shopify store. So, we open another tab here. So, search for AliExpress. 
facebook.com So yung website natin na uh, Dress Like a Pro is they'll say about women's clothing. So we have pants category as our first category. So gawin natin puro tayo sa women's clothing category and look for pants. Okay, click this one. So ito yung lahat ng products na related sa pants. So gawin natin is sort natin siya by orders. Okay, so ito yung from highest order to the lowest order. So, kung makita nyo dito, this is 9,450 orders. The next one is 4,883 orders and so on. So, let's say gusto natin itong import sa ating Shopify store. Pwede mong i-click itong um, link and it will open to another tab. And this one, pwede mong tingnan lahat ng details about the product. So, ito yung lahat ng images niya. Okay. Then, you can click this overlow button here. So, we can click this one. Okay. Product imported successfully. Okay. Close this. So, okay. So, this is our next product. So, we can click this icon here and push to our overlow app. So, third product. So, gawan lang natin is mag-import tayo ng limang product per category. So, this will be our fourth product here. Okay. And our fifth product is this one. Okay. So, let's say this one here. Okay. Then, so we can open import list. Okay. Close na natin to. Okay guys, nandito na yung limang products na in-import natin from AliExpress. So, ang gagawin natin dito is i-edit natin yung title kasi ang haba ng title ng mga nasa AliExpress na product. So, mas maganda i-edit natin to at alisin natin yung brand. So, let's say uh, full length loose jugger. So, and we can search for collection. So, we put it under pants collection. Okay, gawin natin sa description is mag-create lang tayo ng dummy text. So, meron na akong kinuha ang dummy text dito. So, delete natin to. So, gawa tayo ng dummy text para mabilis. So, let's say yan. And paste natin dito. So, gawin natin siyang bullet point. Um... So anyway, for demo purposes lang to guys. So so gawin natin siyang bullet point na ganyan. Uh, okay. Um okay. So i-highlight natin to lahat and make this a bullet point. Okay? We go to variant section. So ito no need na natin tong i-edit kasi nag-set na tayo ng pricing rules kanina. So, next is we go to images. So, dito sa images guys, pipili kayo dito ng gusto nyong image na i-import sa ating Shopify store. So, click mo yan. You can click this. Pipili ka ng images na gusto mong i-edit or i-include sa yung Shopify store. So, okay. Then, import to store. Okay, dito muna tayo sa isang product na in-import natin. So, we go back to our Shopify admin dashboard and we refresh this one. We go to products. 
And here is the product, the first product na in-import natin. So we open this. So, okay. So, ito na yung price niya. So, what we can do now is view our product. Okay, guys. Ito na yung product page ng ating Shopify store. So, ito yung first product niya. Ito yung title. Ito yung sale price na ginawa natin. So, this is the product selections. So, color, size, add to cart button, buy it now button, and ito yung product description na anytime pwede nyo itong i-edit. So, and ito naman yung mga images na in-import natin mula sa AliExpress. So, this is now the product page. Okay, gawin natin is import na natin lahat ng, so i-edit na natin lahat ng products from Uber Loop. So, gawin natin, so, so, yan. Uh, check for collection, jeans. Uh, product description, gawin natin guys, is copy, nat copy natin to. From here, okay. Then, go to product description. Sorry. So, highlight this all and paste. Then, go to variants. This is okay kasi naset natin yung product uh, pricing natin. So, check images kung alin yung gusto nyong i-include sa ating store. Then, import to store. Okay, next. So, search for collections. This is Spans Collections. Description. So, highlight all and delete and copy. So, variants is okay. Images. So, this one is okay. And import product. So, our fourth product is this one, so Juggers Women Army. Okay, kasi sobrang haba nun, so edit natin yon. So, categories or collections, fonts. Then we go to description. We highlight this. We delete this and copy our uh, product collections. Go to variant section, which is okay. Images, so okay na yan. So, import to store. Okay, next product is, so alisin natin yung brand name. So, uh, women casual. Women, okay, ganyan lang. So, pants collections. Description. So, highlight this all. Delete this. Copy and paste. Variant section is okay. Images, so check for images that you want to include in the store and import to store. Okay. Okay guys, lahat ng products sa ating pants categories na i-import na natin sa ating Shopify store. So, pwede natin itong i-close. And go back to our admin dashboard and click all products. So, eto na yung mga products natin para sa ating uh, pants category. Okay, guys. Punta natin yung ating pants category. So, click mo itong pants. Okay. Eto na yung limang products na in-import natin from aliexpress.com. So, you can click each product. So, ito yung individual product page nila. So, naka-display din dito yung same categories. Okay, na-import na natin yung limang products para sa ating pants categories. Punta na naman tayo ngayon sa ating jeans categories. So, mag-import tayo ng products from AliExpress.
So, okay, puno tayo sa women's clothing. And look for jeans. Okay, we sort this by orders. And piliin lang natin yung may e-packet na shipping. So, okay, this one. Let's say this. We want this. Push this to overload. Second. And this third product. And this will be our fourth product. And fifth product. Okay. Lahat na import na natin sa ating Uberlo, gawin natin is open natin yung Uberlo app. Okay, these are the products that we imported from AliExpress. Now, we edit natin ito ng madalian. So, gawin natin is uh, edit the, um, the title. And click for collections. So this is jeans collections. Description. So gawin natin, kopyahin natin yung description ng ating uh, other products. Copy. Highlight this all and delete. Control V. Variance is okay. So images. So, this one is okay. So, import to store. Okay, next product. Alisin natin yung brand name. So, let's say up to here only. Which is collection. This is jean collection. So, description. Highlight this all. Delete and control V. Variance is okay. So, images. That's alright. So, import to store. Okay, next product. Okay, delete natin yan. Choose for collection with this jeans collections. Go to description. Highlight this all. Delete. Control V. And go to images. So let's say we want to include this and this one. So import to store. Okay, our fourth product. So, alisin natin yan. So, delete natin to. So, choose category. With this jeans categories. So, description. So, i-highlight mo lang to lahat. Delete. Control V para sa description natin. Variants is okay. Go to images. So, tingnan natin kung meron tayong gustong idagdag. So, I think that's alright. So, okay. So, import the store. Okay, next product is edit natin yung title ulit. So, that one. Choose collection, which is jeans. Okay, description. Okay, delete this all. Control V. Variants, okay. Images. Okay, then push to store. Okay, na-import na natin sa ating Shopify store yung limang products sa ating jeans categories. So, gawin natin is punta tayo sa ating admin dashboard. Go to all products. Scroll down. So, andito na yung products para sa ating jeans categories. So, punta tayo sa ating website, homepage, and click jeans categories. Okay guys, ito na yung limang products na in-import natin from AliExpress into our store. So, next, import tayo ng products para sa ating shorts categories. So, puna tayo sa AliExpress. So, women's category. 
Hanapin natin yung shorts. Okay, this one. So, pwede rin kayong pumili na dito. Huwag na kayo mag-sort by orders. So, dito, pili na kayo. So, like, we want this to import to our store. And this one. Okay. Um, okay, this one. Our third product. Okay, our fourth product. And this will be our fifth product. Okay. Open import list. Close natin to. Okay, these are now the five products that we imported from our AliExpress. So, gawin natin is edit natin ulit yung uh, title nila. Okay. And we put this under uh, shorts collection. Go to description. Delete this all. Copy and paste our description. Variant is okay. So, images. Okay, so import the store. Okay, next product is... Okay, search for collections, which is shorts. Okay, description. Delete this all. Control V. Variant is okay. Images. Check natin kung meron tayong gusto idagdag. So, I think that's fine. Add natin to. So, import the store. Okay, next product. So, edit natin to. Search for collections, which is shorts. Okay, description. Highlight this all and delete. Control V. Okay, variant is okay. Images. So, images, I think that's alright. So, import the store. Okay, next product. So, we edit the title. Okay. We choose for the collection, shorts collection, and description. Highlight this all and delete and control V to copy the description. Variants, okay. Images, um, I think that's all right. Okay, so we can add this one and import the store. Okay, last one for our shorts category. So, alisin natin tong product. Um, brand nya so okay edit natin tong title collection shorts collection so go to description okay highlight this all and uh, control V variance is okay and go to images import Okay guys, so what we can do now is go to our admin dashboard and refresh this. Okay, nandito na yung ating uh, shorts collection. So we go to our website and click shorts category Okay, nandito na yung limang products natin na in-import from AliExpress. So, next category na import natin na in uh, uh, So, next category is sleepwear. So, we go to we go back to AliExpress. Scroll up. Okay, back. So, women's clothing. So look for sleepwear. Um, um, um. Okay, sleep and lunch. Okay, so let's say ayaw na natin. Let's say meron na tayong nagusta na product dito. So we can add this directly to our store. Okay, so this one add uh, directly to our store. 
Okay, this one, so our third product is here. So fourth product. Okay, this will be our fifth product. Okay, all the five products are now imported to our Oberlo app. So we open now the import list. We will close this one. Okay, so what we can do here now is edit the title. Okay, um, and choose for collection, sleepwear. Description, highlight this all, delete, and control for, copy for the description, variance is okay, images, and import to store. Okay, second product, edit natin yung title, go to collections, sleepwear, okay, click the description. Highlight this all. Control V for the description. Variance is okay. Images. Okay, I think the images is okay. So we can import this to our store. Okay, our third product. Okay, edit the title. Choose for the description. Open the description tab. Highlight this all and delete and copy the description. So, variance is okay. Images. Okay, let's say we want to add this into our store. So, we just click it and import the store. Okay, fourth product. Can we edit? The product title and click the collection description delete and control V images and import the store okay our last product so ito lang guys yung medyo matrabaho na part na paggawa ng ating Shopify store yung pag import ng products from AliExpress into our store. Although madali lang siya kasi meron ng Overlo app. Pero kailangan mong bigyan ng uh, uh, oras yung product title niya and yung product description. Ito yung pinaka-importe sa atin uh, para sa ating product pages. So sa demo na ito uh, madalian lang natin siyang ginagawa for the sake of our demonstration um Okay, stick pair. So, yung product description, gumawa lang tayo ng product description na dummy para mabilis. So, at least may guide na kayo kung paano nyo gawin ito. So, okay. So, variant is alright. So, images. So, check mo kung meron ka pang images na gustong idagdag. Okay, I think it's alright. Then, import the store. Okay. So, lahat ng uh, five products na import na natin sa ating Shopify store para sa ating sleepwear category. So, we can now go back to our admin dashboard and refresh. Okay, guys. Nandito na yung uh, sleepwear uh, products natin. Ayan. So what we can do now is go to our store and click the sleepwear category. Okay, ito na yung limang uh, products na inimport natin galing sa AliExpress para sa ating sleepwear category. So we can open one product. So nandito yung inedit nating uh, product title. So, naka-sale siya. So, ito yung sale natin. Ito yung variants from AliExpress. So, mabilis lang siya kahit maraming variants siya, mabilis lang siyang i-import dahil sa overload. So, yan yung kagandahan ng overload app. 
So, yan. So, add to cart, buy it now button. And ito yung product categories. And ito naman yung product images natin. Gagawa tayo ng About Us and Contact Us page na ilalagay natin dito sa ating main menu sa taas. So, we go back to our admin dashboard. Create online store. Or click online store. Go to pages. Okay, add page. So let's say about us and mag-create lang tayo ng dami text dito. So this is my about us page. So mag-create tayo ng dami text. Um, okay. So okay, i-copyahin natin to. And we put it under the content section. So, so ano lang to guys, uh, bali sample lang to. So, mag-create kayo ng sarili nyo about us uh, page. Para lang may content yung uh, demo website natin. So, yung about us page. And... Save. Okay. Next is, create ulit tayo ng contact us page. So, you go back to pages and add page. Okay. We call it contact, contact us, and we put a dummy text here. This is, is my contact us page. Okay. And dito sa template side, so click mo tong arrow down na to, and click page.contact. Okay, so magiging template niya is contact us page na default ng ating Shopify store. So, save mo to. Okay, so kung i-click natin itong pages guys, nandito na yung about us and contact us page. But, if we are going to visit our website and refresh the website, Okay, here you will notice, hindi pa na i-publish yung ating About Us and Contact Us page dito sa ating menu board. So, ang gagawin natin, back to our admin dashboard. Okay, pupunta tayo sa ating navigation tab. Okay, pura tayo sa ating menu or main menu. Okay, add menu item. Okay, name natin to as about us. And click tayo ng link. So, go to pages. And i-click mo yung about us page na ginawa mo. So, about us. And add. Okay, next is yung contact us page. So, i-click natin tong add menu item. And create tayo ng contact us. And sa link is go to pages. And click mo yung contact us page na ginawa natin kanila. Okay, contact us. And add. Okay. After that, you have to save. Okay, back to our website. And refresh. 
Okay guys, nandito na sa taas yung ating About Us page and Contact Us page. So, i-click mo itong Contact Us. So, ito na yung uh, Contact Us page natin. So, baan na kayo mag-edit ng uh, or yung About Us page natin. So, baan na kayo mag-edit ng description? Kung anong description ang uh, or text ang ilalagay nyo dito. Okay, back to our Contact Us page. Okay guys, ang ganda ng uh, default na contact us page ng Shopify. So, hindi na tayo nagawa ng HTML code dito. So, automatic yung template nila ang ginamit natin. So, yung client nyo or yung um, um, subscribers nyo or yung so, yung customers nyo dito na maglalagay ng name, ng email address, ng phone number, and pag message sila. And pag nilik nila itong send, automatic mag-send ito doon sa email address na nakalagay nyo sa Shopify store. Okay guys, next is i-edit natin tong or i-redesign natin tong ating homepage. So kung makikita nyo dito sa ating website, homepage, meron tayong image, full with image dito sa taas with image text uh, overlay. Meron tayong featured collection. Sa featured collections, meron tayong 6 products. So meron tayong 3 columns and 2 rows for our uh, featured products. Meron tayong bigger version ng ating product uh, uh, display with product image here and text at the right side. And at the bottom, meron tayong image slider with text on the middle. Okay. So, gawin natin to. Okay, back to our home uh, admin dashboard. We go to online store. And we click this customized tab. Okay, so nandito yung editing section ng ating home page. So, first is edit natin tong um, full width image at us. Meron na akong mga nakareading image para mas mapabilis yung ating tutorial. So, i-upload na lang siya uh, dito sa ating website. So, click this image with text. Okay. This refers to this image here. So, click select image and click the image. Select. So, ito na yung live version ng ating website. Okay. Edit naman natin yung uh, text at the middle. So, dito, meron siya mga option, mga alignment options para dun sa ating image. So, I think better one is middle. And the layout, make this full width. Section height, okay na yung medium. Text is large, yung text dito. So, okay. Image with text overlay. So, ito yung text natin. So, i-edit natin to. Okay. So, live siya. Pwede siyang i-edit. So, let's say summer annual sale. Then, edit natin yung text sa baba. Remove natin yan. So, let's say, get an exclusive sneak peek of the latest dress like a pro collections. So, yan. So, live uh, editing. Live editing siya. So, guys, dito, meron tayo nakalagay button label. Kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng button label dito, para pag kinilik ito ng customer nyo, uh, pupunta siya doon sa kung saan nyo siya nilink. So, let's say, so, let's say maglagay tayo ng shop now. Okay, saan mo siya ililink? 
So, click mo siya rito. And you go to products. Pwede mo siyang i-link sa collection. Okay, let's say collections. Okay, link mo siya sa ating sleepwear. Okay, na ito na yung button natin. Okay, then we will save this. Okay guys, so na-save na natin yung um, image natin, full with image natin. So we go to our website and refresh. Okay guys, ito na yung um, home page full with image natin. So we go to our dashboard. We click this one. And we go to featured collection tab. Okay. So you have the option to change the, the heading here. So let's say uh, we will say shop the collection. And here, we have the option how many rows and how many products we display on this particular column. So let's say you want four products per row. So you will just increase this. So we have now four products per row. And you have two rows here. So if you want, you can have three rows. So now you have three rows. But for, for, for this demo, we will say only, okay, three products per row and make it only two rows, which is the default. Okay, guys, we will click this edit collection and uh, we leave this title as home page. And here at the product section, we will browse the products we want to display on our home page. So we click this one. Okay, say we want this, this one, and this. Okay, we want this. Okay, so add this all. So we go to our home page and refresh. Scroll down. So ito no guys, yung ating uh, featured collection ng mga products nandito sa ating home page. So when your customer click this one, so they will see the product page. Okay, next is maglagay tayo ng ating featured products in here. So, malaking image plus text on the right column. Okay, we go to our admin dashboard and go to image with text. Okay, select image. Upload your image. So, let's say this one. Okay. We, create, we click select. So dito may option tayo kung saan mo siya, kung yung image saan mo gustong ilagay. We have the option to put it on the left or right. So this one will say put it on the right. So i-edit natin yung text. So let's say Okay, limited time offer. So Automatic, napalitan na yung ating text dyan. So, let's say, um, select, styles,
um, styles while supplies last okay and here we say here shop the shop this collection okay so guys uh, kung gusto nyo itong section na ito is i-link siya sa ating uh, products. Kasi kung makikita nyo rito sa ating website, ito yung product link natin or product item natin. So kung gusto mo siyang i-link dito sa ating product page, pwede. So you can say shop now and ano yung button link natin. So, di ba product siya? So, what is the title of our item? So, launch sleep pajama. So, you will look for that item here. So, okay. So, this one. So, click mo yan. So, automatic yung shop now button natin nakalink na doon sa ating product page. And, okay, the rest is okay. Okay, then we click save. Okay. What we can do now is we go to our website and we refresh the website. We go to the home page. So, tingnan natin yung featured product natin sa baba. Okay, so this is how the featured product. So, limited time offer, select styles while supplies last, shop this collection. So, gawin natin, try natin i-click yung shop now button. Click. Okay guys, nakaklik, naka nakalink na siya doon sa ating product page. So from our home page, this sections here and the product collections and this featured product is collect uh, connected to our individual product page. Okay, now we will edit this slider images at the bottom. So we can do now is Click this back button and we click this slide show tab. Okay, we say adapt to first image, the size adapt to first image. Let's say text is medium size, text alignment is center. Okay, we will show overlay. This one is that's the overlay. So, change slides in every 5 seconds. We will leave this at default. Okay, content. So, our image slider 1. Okay. Select the image. We will upload the image. Okay, slider 1. Nakaredy na yan guys para sa demo natin. Okay, that's slider 1. We click select. Okay, we can change the heading like, so let's say limited time offer. Okay, we can say this is one of our best sellers. Okay, again, you can link this. You can put a button at the bottom. But uh, we will not do this in this video. So, add again another image slide. Select image. We upload the image here. Okay, we select the image. Same default. So, okay, image slide. Um... Uh, we say exclusive offer today. Get our best offer of the day. So again, 
if you want to uh, to link this image by say here on the bottom label say shop now and let's say we want to, to link this on our collection product so we click collections so we say we want to link this on the slipwear collections and we click save okay we go to our website and we refresh the website okay guys ito na yung um, image slider natin so makikita nyo dito wala siyang shop now or uh, uh, button link so next slide Okay guys, meron isang slide na hindi natin na-edit. So, kailangan natin edit alisin to. So, we go back to our admin dashboard. Okay. We click back. Okay. Click the slide. So, this one. Ito. Meron tayong in the middle na hindi natin na-edit. So, we can remove this. Remove content. and save okay we go back to our website and refresh okay guys ito na yung uh, full width image slider natin so your customer can can scroll the image slider and see here we have a button so they have the option to click this and go to our uh, collection page. We go back to our home page. So okay guys, ito na yung design ng ating uh, Shopify store design ng ating home page. Okay guys, the next thing we will do is we're going to edit our footer section of our website. So if you will scroll down here. Okay, this is the default footer section of the Shopify store. So we're going to edit this by going to our admin dashboard. Click theme and customize. Okay, we're going to the footer section. Okay, here. So you will see here quick links, and this is the section for the quick links. Talk about your business, which is this section. And the newsletter which is this section so we're going to edit first our quick links okay we will edit the menu okay the footer section we have our search bar in here Okay, and we will add our about us page and contact us page. Okay, we will put it in here. So about us, about us, and the link. Okay, click the pages, click about us, add. Okay, one more. contact us okay get the link so go to pages and contact us and add okay guys we'll save this 
Okay, next one. We will edit the talk about your business section. Okay, we go back to our admin. Back. Click the footer. And click talk about your business section. Let's say thanks for visiting. Okay, here uh, we can we can put something about our website or our store. So we can say um, dress like a pro was. Founded in 2019 in a village. Okay, let's say in a remote in a remote village in the in the Philippines. Okay. Next paragraph is thanks for visiting. If you have questions, please use our contact us form. Okay, so that's it. And we are now saving this. Okay, we'll edit this section. So go to footer. Okay, go to footer again and edit this section. We will say, please enter your email to subscribe. Okay, that's it. And we click save. Okay, we go now to our website. We refresh the website. Okay, down to the footer section. Okay, these are now our um, own footer section. So if they will click on the search, they can search for the product, okay? They can search for, they can click the About Us page. So this is our About Us page. They can click on Contact Us page. So they can contact us through this page. Okay, guys, this is our new uh, footer section. Okay, next step is mag-create tayo ng uh, shipping rate sa ating Shopify store. So what we can do here, we go to settings, we go to shipping tab, okay, dito sa shipping setup niya, so makita mo dito shipping origin, so hindi na natin ito kailangan ni-edit, kasi ito lang naman ay ginagamit para i-calculate yung shipping, shipping rates mo. Since na mag-offer tayo ng free shipping sa ating lahat ng uh, locations so no need to change this one so we go to shipping rates at checkout so we are not limiting our shipping to New Zealand so I think we will ha we have to delete this and we leave the rest of the world so we go to edit and scroll down delete zone delete shipping zone okay deleted na yung deleted na yung shipping zone natin so we go back to settings shipping okay nandito na yung uh, rest of the world so we will edit this kasi meron ditong $20 shipping so we edit this one
Face scroll down. Okay, we edit the price. So all international shipping, we will create a free shipping rate. So we we'll change it as zero. So since ang item natin is hindi naman per kilogram, so we can we can zero this and done. Okay, our international shipping or worldwide shipping is uh, free. So. We can save now. Okay, what we can do is we go to our website. We refresh the page. Okay, we try to purchase for this item. So let's say green, large. Okay, item coming from China. Add to cart. Okay, view cart. Okay, our item is this one, green, large, 6.95. And we go to checkout. Okay guys, pag ang customer mo nag-fill out na ng mga information dito and continue the shipping method, ang magiging calculation dito ng shipping is zero. So, uh, free shipping siya to all countries. Okay, next is setting up our Shopify and PayPal payments. So, we'll go to settings. We will go to payment providers. Okay, dito, uh, automatic na nakaset up na yung credit card payment mo using Shopify payment. So, uh, siya na yung default kasi nag-enter ka na ng credit card mo dito kanina nung binili natin yung um, Shopify uh, plan. So, dito naman sa PayPal, yung email mo na uh, nilagay sa Shopify nung kumuha ka ng plan, is yan yung gagamitin ng PayPal after your first sale. So, PayPal will email you uh, to set up your PayPal account para maklaim mo yung uh, uh, funds galing sa mga sales mo. So, automatic na yan, guys. If Shopify payments, which is the credit card payments, and PayPal payments is uh, working. So, okay. We are now in our home page. So let's say binili natin to. Okay. We choose uh, pink one, large, add to cart. Okay, we view cart. Scroll down. Okay, click checkout. Okay, so we will change the details. So let's say, yan yung email ko. So fill out the shipping address. Okay, continue the shipping method. Okay, makita mo dito guys, yung international shipping natin is free. So wala siyang charge. Okay. Then, continue the payment method. Okay. Let's, uh, let us check this credit card. Okay, guys. Yung credit card payment natin gumagana na. So, your customer can just enter your the, their credit card details in this section. Or, if they want, they can pay through PayPal. Okay, let's try PayPal. Okay, complete order. Okay guys, ito yung payment by PayPal. 
So, enter nila yung credit card details nila dito or they can create a PayPal account. Okay guys, we will customize our checkout page by adding a uh, header image and a logo to our checkout. So, try muna natin, click natin yung cart and check out. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is mag-create tayo ng uh, header image dito sa taas and ilagay natin yung website logo natin dito para maging uh, para, parang branding ng ating website or ng ating Shopify store. Okay, we go back to our admin dashboard. Scroll down and go to settings. Go to checkout. And here, style. Customize the style of your checkout. So click this one. So this one, check uh, open checkout settings. Okay, this is the background image. So click select image. So let's say gamitin natin to. Click mo yan and select. So okay, yan na yung header image natin para sa ating uh, checkout page. Okay, uh, instead of this text dressed like a pro, gamitin natin yung uh, website logo natin. So, select image, click this logo, and click select. Okay, click save. Okay, back to our website. Click mo yung cart button. Tingnan natin yung checkout page. Okay, good. Ito na guys yung ating uh, header image and logo sa ating checkout page. So, mas maganda at professional na siyang tingnan. Okay guys, sana nagustuhan niyo yung website natin. And kung meron kayo mga questions, suggestions para sa ating next videos, mag-leave lang kayo ng comment sa baba. And kung may mga gusto kayong video tutorial na gawin natin next time, and please guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.